If you've been struggling trying to create a content strategy for your YouTube channel, this video is going to teach you how to use AI to help you build a content plan that's going to work for your business, your niche, and focus on your target audience. So without wasting any time, when it comes to creating an AI content strategy, we're going to be focusing on two types of content that we can create for our channel. And this doesn't matter if it's for Instagram, for X, short form content or your YouTube channel. These two formats work on every single platform. So the platform and the content types that we're really focusing on is YouTube and creating social growth and SEO driven content maps. This is the simplest way to do it. But when it comes to creating these content maps or topical map, you're essentially becoming a category king or an authority in your space. With these two formats, we're really going to hone in and understand how we can also use AI to help us come up with these content strategies. So as an example, this is what a social growth map would look like on your own channel. Let's say the main pillar is AI content creation, which is of course something that I talk about on this channel here and a branch or a pillar could be AI tools, AI workflows and AI results. For an example, we have, I tested every AI tool, save your money, hidden AI features nobody uses. Now, these could be things such as social authoritative content that's going to help you grow the channel. They're not really like evergreen search driven content. So if we look at that kind of material, let's say the same pillar is AI content creation. We have these different branches or pillars such as how to use ChatGPT for content. How to use ChatGPT for content means that people are typing this into either YouTube search, Google or whatever search algorithm that you are working on. And another one could be best AI writing tools, Claude AI tutorial. These are things that people are currently searching for. So when it comes to that strategy, you need to make sure that it's search driven. So those are the two formats that we really focus on when it comes to building out an AI content strategy. So think about it this way. We have the main pillar. We have different content types. We have our SEO branches and we have our social branches. All of these things tie in together to help you build out your entire pillar. Now, luckily, we'll be able to create both of these content types with the help of AI. And I'm going to show you my two channels to help you understand and kind of get a grasp of what I'm doing for my own business. So what we're going to be doing here is we're going to be creating an SEO driven content plan using this AI prompt that I've created. And in order to do this, it's going to ask me for my niche market, my I help statement, and also any specific unique angles that I could potentially share. So it will help with the content strategy. This is really important that you do this first before just asking AI for specific content ideas. It's not going to help you. And this is a great way to get started. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to copy this entire prompt. Then I'm going to dive into Claude. And personally, I just like it more than chat GPT. It hallucinates less, gives me better output, and I just really like it. So I'm going to go ahead and add that in here. And what's going to happen is it's going to go ahead and again, ask me for my niche, my content pillars and my I help statement. All right. So for the sake of this video, I'm just going to say my niche is YouTube growth. I have specific content pillars and I also help YouTube creators get more views and leads with the help of AI. So let's go ahead and see what kind of search based content it will provide us. Sweet. So this is not too bad. We have some YouTube growth pillar topics here. We have how to master the YouTube algorithm in 2024. And again, we could do it for 2025. We also have best times to post on YouTube data driven study, YouTube shorts versus long form, which drives more growth. We also have a content strategy pillar here, which is how to research trending topics for YouTube success, content batching for YouTube complete system. And from here, we can also ask it just to add in more unique angles. And really, this is just the beginning of creating a content strategy based off of this prompt. So I can go ahead and say continue with the rest of the clusters and add even more search based content ideas. So you can see here that it's given us a ton of different topics. We have ad revenue optimization. We have sponsorship strategies. So how much to charge for YouTube sponsorships? We have funnel optimizations for YouTube channels. Uh, this is the best lead magnets for YouTube creators by niche, YouTube community post ideas, 
YouTube channel membership, tier structure guides. I mean, there's so many different ones. We have AI content creation, best AI tools for YouTube script writing, which I kind of made a video on that already, which is pretty cool. And we just have a, all of these different search space categories. We have YouTube chapters, cross-platform growth, business development. Um, so from here, you can just continue adding more ideas. You could save this to your Google spreadsheet or wh wherever you're planning your content like Trello. From here, it's going to ask us if we want to add a search intent mapping for these clusters. We can also add a more specific AI focused content ideas since that's also my niche and any other subtopics. So I'm just going to go ahead and say create more AI focused content ideas. And another thing you can include here is just say make sure these all have curiosity based titles while still nailing search intent. So this is looking pretty good. We have some more AI automation workflow pillars. So this is pretty good. We have some more AI automation workflow pillars and this one's for AI script generation. This chat GPT prompt made my YouTube scripts go viral. That's honestly not too bad. We have, I tested five AI script writers. Here's the shocking winner. Why 90% of creators use AI scripts wrong and how to fix it? AI content planning. I asked ChatGPT to plan my content, the results. This AI tool reveals your competitors' YouTube secrets. I mean, so there's a lot of interesting topics here, and I think this would actually work for my own channel. But you can see that this would be great for anyone's business, no matter what the niche is. You can continue adding more and more to this content plan. But let's go ahead and jump into social first content ideas. As we already know, search driven is working and we can use this specific AI prompt for that process. All right, so since we were already in this chat, instead of having to rewrite this whole thing or copy pasting, I'm just gonna go ahead and ask the AI to help me create social first content ideas for YouTube by generating 30 ideas that follow pattern interrupt, curiosity, and psychology formats. So from here, I can continue getting more content ideas. It's all under one chat. And this is really, really good because this is what I'm using for my own channel and my own business. All right, so I already see some of the ones I like. Under these curiosity gaps, we have why your last video failed, the harsh truth. That's pretty good. Opening my YouTube analytics to prove a point. Uh, for fear of missing out, or also known as FOMO, we have the YouTube strategy that won't work in 2025. Actually, I like that a lot. What YouTube analytics are trying to tell you, warning signs. Uh, some contrarian views, stop doing keyword research, do this instead. Why YouTube shorts are actually killing your channel. I was wrong about YouTube growth, new data changed my mind. Forget everything you know about X topic. And then we have some pattern interrupts. The YouTube choice, left side versus right side thumbnails. I mean, so these are really, really good. From here, there's one actual other way, depending on your niche, is I like to add in more title ideas, but all lowercase uh, letters, just because, it again, it depends on the niche, but when I use this specific way, is it's just a really powerful title style for like marketing and business channels. So I'm gonna go ahead and tell the AI to help me create more content ideas using all lower caps and it's gonna be really interesting. All right, so I'm going and just looking at some of the ideas it's given us all lower caps. If you're in the marketing or business niche, you've probably seen these kind of titles. I am going and adding these to my own list. This is a really good way to get the click, I think, and without click baiting your audience. So just look at the ones that you like. For example, there's this one here, what I wish I knew at 100 subs. I could probably change that and say like, what I wish I knew at 1000 subscribers on YouTube. How I got 100K subs without showing my face. This is why your videos aren't hitting the For You page. That's more like TikTok. Stop doing keyword research right now. So I really, really, really love these title styles and I'm gonna start doing that for my own channel. And I think you should also do the same because it's just what's working now and going to work in 2025. So next up, what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna have it create a simple 90 day content plan for me. And for this example, I'll be posting about three times a week, which is kind of what I'm gonna be doing for 2025. And the most important thing is that social first content is about 70% and then SEO driven content is about 30%. So let's go ahead and let it do its thing. And you can just mess around with this and see what works best for you. But I really think that having some kind of content plan in place is gonna help you with your content strategy. Okay, so I think this is a really good start. We have for week one, I tested this 30 days YouTube change forever. How to master the YouTube algorithm, which is search driven. 
the YouTube hack that made me delete everything. Week two, I let AI run my channel for 30 days. Why small channels are beating big ones right now. And we have week four, week five, then month two, week six. There's a lot of different ideas here. I think all of them look really good. And for honestly, in my opinion, this is something that I'm, I am currently doing for my own channel. And I think that everyone should follow a very similar process. So make sure that you grab the AI prompts in the description or in the pinned comment, but there's no reason for you to make an excuse that you can't come up with a content plan and that you can't come up with a strategy for your channel. This is what's working. Uh, this is what with my clients, with my students, they're all doing the exact same thing. So you just need to follow a simple process, use AI to help you with that. And there's no reason why you can't come up with a solid content plan. So as an example, this is my YouTube channel that you're currently watching. And I follow that 70, 30 strategy. So the majority of my content is going to be social first driven. And if I click on descending here using one of 10 scrum extension, you can see that the majority of my views or the content that is really growing my channel are social first driven. So we have this single prompt creates perfect AI prompts every time. It's gained about 59,000 views in about four months. It's a 16 X multiple on my channel. We have another video here that is, I found the secret to humanizing AI content. It's about 10,000 views with an eight X multiple. Another one, 10 insane AI prompts you never knew existed. So people aren't typing that into Google or YouTube. They might be typing in AI prompts, which I could rank for in general, but really the one that would be slowly growing like this one here is how to write a killer blog post using AI. But as you can see, the majority of my videos are all social first driven and the search driven content does slowly rank and does get views, uh, more views per hour over time, but it, it's just not going to kind of grow my channel, you know, in 90 days or so, such as the other video types that we've been kind of focusing on. Based on my other channel here in the finance and credit space, this is really focused on search driven. So I haven't really published a video in over a year to two years, but you can see that a lot of my videos are still getting traction and it's mostly how to and list style content that isn't social first driven. So the majority of my views is all coming from these search related posts. And also when I type in like best credit repair software, in Google, you'll notice that I'm ranking on the first page of Google for this specific video topic, which can also bring in search traffic. So there's a lot of interesting ways that we can use to search and social first content, but I highly recommend that you do both for your channel because it's going to help you build authority and it's going to help you build evergreen traffic. So with that being said, I highly recommend that you follow this strategy to help you build out your content plan and just focus on publishing really good videos for your channel and rinse and repeat. And now that you've done all of that, I highly recommend that you watch these videos next. I can't wait to see what you do with your content strategy. If you have any questions, just comment below. I'll make sure to answer. I reply to every single comment. Thanks again for being here and watching to the very end. I'll see you in the next video.